What is going on guys, we are back for vlog number two and we are here at the locomotive training facility in Sagoramo to watch Sioni Bolnisi versus locomotive. Score prediction for today? I think it's gonna be 4-1 to locomotive because they're gonna get through the gears and you know, absolutely smash Sioni. I think 3-1 to Sioni. Oh wow. The experience is going to kick in. So yeah. basically like juniors for Loco. Well, you know, as you know, we've got to review the stadium and every place we go, every pitch we go. So this pitch quality, they say it's the best grass in Georgia. But if you look at it, well, be the judge. <laughs> I give it a 3 out of 10, mate. That's nice, it's quite soft. The home side, in this case, Locomotive, have been absolutely dominating. Good counter attack. 4 and 2. I had to score though. Right? They put that one out. Quite good. I'd say this is a goal for Loco to be honest because they've been controlling the most of the ball to be in the first like well, them 10 minutes in. Well, we have the first goal of the game. It is 1 0 Locomotive. And to be honest with you, you saw it just there. It was a pretty decent counter attack. They've been on top really, I think, these first 10 15 minutes. I've had most of the possession. Sione had just had a corner and a free kick, but clinical counter attack and it's 1 0 Locomotive. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Well, you wait for one goal and you get two in two minutes and I mean it happened so quickly that I missed it from the camera. To be fair to Sioni, they've been down to ten men for both of the goals due to an injury to this young man just down here. Well, it may only be vlog number two here on the Piola channel, but as you can see, we have commandeered ourselves a commentary position here at Locomotive, which from now on we will be calling the Piola box. So kind of clean up, just to dump with the stuff here. <laughs> yeah, apart from that, a couple of seats, a couple of sockets. Yeah, we've got the sockets, we've got a light, which works oh my God, pretty perfectly. Light. Well, that's half time. Let's go and see what the boys think. We're not messing around today. Hot teas, hot coffees. Yeah. Beautiful training ground. And over here, we've got the livestock team who are currently... They're the groundskeepers. Yeah, you know? doing the groundskeeping. Guys, the second half has already started, but what do you make of that first 45 minutes? I was well impressed with Locomotive, I think. I think I was expecting about a 1-1 today, but that quick period that they had where they scored on the counter attack and then the second goal, I mean, that just set the pace. And uh, it's been all one-way traffic since then. Yeah, this is the first half, to be honest, and I wasn't expecting it as well. Just over two goals, I think. And the second was an absolute banger as well. Yeah, looks like my prediction was right so far. Let's see if Locomotive can make it 4-1, although I would prefer a clean sheet. We'll take it. Anyway, back to the action. is absolutely banging stuff. It's tomorrow's <laughs> The second half has pretty much started off just like the first, except the roles have been reversed. It's Sione looking to mount a comeback and putting early pressure in. If he makes it to that 
to the corner flag before the free kick's taken, I was really impressed. Sioni are the ones who have been dominating and knocking at the door, but much like Loco, there's a third goal coming. Much like, no, there was no goal. But much like Loco in the first half, despite the fact that they're knocking on the door, they just can't keep to, they just can't seem to get that final push and score a goal. Well, the full-time whistle has blown here and it has finished 2-0 to Locomotives. No goal in the second half uh, and we'll get into our full-time breakdown in just a second. All right, so that's the end of our second preseason match that we've attended. It was 2-0 to Lokomotiv Tbilisi. What did you guys make of the game? Nine days to go until the season starts. I thought this was going to be a, a bit of an eye-opener as to what we can expect from both the teams. And I was just pleasantly surprised with Lokomotiv, to be honest with you. I thought they looked good in the first half. They tied in the second half. Yeah, pleasantly surprised and, and my appetite is wet for the start of the season now. Yeah, I have to agree with Sam in terms of the expectations, but maybe it was a decent match. Uh, but yeah, a decent match, a deserved win for Loco, I'd say, uh, but Sione could have scored at least one. Yeah, Sione had a bit of pressure, they, they briefly threatened a comeback of sorts in the second half, but unfortunately couldn't make the pressure count. What do you guys make of the stadium? I'm pleasantly surprised. I think it's really nice actually, the views, the mountains, the hills. Um, the pitch condition wasn't the best, but if it's a training ground, so be it. I'm going to give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. Solid facility in general, or oh, only the football stadium, but the pitch was yeah, quite, quite bad. But for a club that doesn't really have many supporters, like 600 seater, they're pretty alright I'd say, and the lights are pretty decent as well, so that's 6 out of 10. I'm disappointed with the grass quality, but just the location is absolutely incredible. I mean, you can see the mountains a bit overexposed, but there are some mountains behind me. That's quite nice. I like the touch of the trees over here. I give them a, let's be nice, six out of 10. I think uh, that wraps up our uh, second video of Peola. Remember to like and subscribe and see you on the pod.